I am a huge fan of the series and so thankful that Netflix is making a third season and hopefully many more. Um, what was it like for you stepping back on the set for the first time for season three? Well, um, COVID protocols changed a lot, um, number one. Uh, so we could actually shoot the thing. So we've got to have a lot of rules and regulations in place that so we can actually shoot it. Um, but I you know the scripts are so great for season three. Like I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's really such a joy to be doing it. Um, I feel, you know, very privileged to be a part of this, this show. And, uh, I think the best thing really is that, you know, we're all, we're all so comfortable with each other now. So it feels like we can really hit the ground running from a creative standpoint. And we've got the same crew, you know, most of the same crew and, um, I think we, we know who these characters are and who we are playing them and who, you know, I think when we work with each other, we're very aware of, of how to react and, you know, in, in these scenes. So as a family, you know, I think we're, we're in a great place and it's, it's like when a good sports team, I suppose, when a sports team really finds their flow, you know, and they, you know, they go on a winning streak. It feels a bit like that. You know, we, we're very, we're very fortunate to have a, a very talented uh, cast and, and crew. Did COVID impact the shooting schedule of season three? Were you originally going to film it earlier or how did that affect anything? I'm not sure. I think we were actually supposed to originally shoot a little bit earlier. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, only, yeah, the only thing, the good thing that came out of it was it allowed me to shoot Resident Evil um, because Resident Evil was probably originally going to be a clash, but then that that allowed me to, to shoot that. But um it was good because it allowed my family and stuff to come out with me in, in January and, and, and start uh, with them. So, no, yeah, it was. I think this is this is a good schedule we started on. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of uh, writers and showrunners, and they've all told me that the pandemic, while terrible for the planet and obviously the worst thing ever, um, has actually been good in terms of the writing process for a lot of movies and TV shows because it allowed a lot of people to get ahead on scripts and spend more time on the scripts that they normally wouldn't be able to. And you mentioned already that you were really happy uh, with the writing. Um, did, mm. you, did you get um, all 10 scripts already? Did you just get some of them? How, how did that work? Yeah, we've had a fair chunk. Yeah, we've, uh, we've not got all 10, but we've had a fair chunk. And yeah, I, I think that you're right. You know, I think it did allow them to have a bit of extra time on, because um, I think we got commissioned, you know, in the middle of all this stuff. So the, the writers, I guess, got, yeah, more of a head start. So um, and that's only allowed them to kind of like really refine them. So the ones we're getting now are really special. Uh, I interviewed Gerard Way before the first season came out. And he told me that he gave Steve an 18 page document that basically told him everything, including the eight, the other graphic novels that had not been written yet. He like gave Steve it all, uh, gave Steve yeah. everything. So how much have you asked Steve to be like, hey, so you're going to tell me everything or how much are you finding out season by season? No, I'm the opposite, man. I live, I, I have to do everything in the moment. I'm kind of like episode by episode because I don't want to know like what's happening like way in advance. So um, I know that some people like need to know kind of, they want to know everything that's going to happen. Whereas I'm kind of the opposite. I'm, uh, I won't even look at like, like episode four and five until I'm like done on one, two and three. So uh, I like to really kind of like, take my time with it. Uh, I believe, where are you actually in the filming process? I think, I heard that you you guys are shooting till September, which is a, a long shoot. Yeah, well, the COVID protocols mean that we have like shorter days, um, which means that the actual length of the shoot is going to be a lot longer. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of really near the beginning. You know, we're not that far into it at the moment. Um, so we've got a long way to go. <laughs> But it's good. The thing is, the, the great thing is, is the material, the work is amazing. So every day on set is, like I say, a joy and so much fun. Looking backwards, I loved season two. I loved the time jump. I loved, it was, especially the opening episode, the action and the finale. Like, it's just a great season. When, now that you can talk about it, because um, you, you obviously you couldn't talk about it before, what, what did you take away from season two? And what were your thoughts on the finale? Um... I loved it. I think it's it's a great setup for season three. Um, I I thought that the the show really sort of found a groove. You know, I think it, like what was so great about season two is that 
we'd, we'd set up the world in season one, you know, and I really feel that season one was almost like a setup for the rest of the show is, and we, you're not trying to figure out what this world is anymore. You know, who these characters are, you know, where they're, they're at in their lives. And, and then we can really get things going. And I think towards the end of season two, you really start to just see what this show is, you know, and uh, it's, it's a great setup for what, what's going to happen in, in three. Um, I'm just curious if you could talk a little bit about uh, uh, things that maybe fans, fans of the series might not realize about the making of the series. Is there anything that you wish like they knew anything that might surprise people about the behind the scenes? Um, that might surprise people. Um, I mean, it depends what you know about making a TV show, you know. Um, I think one thing you have to realize as well is that the the true genius behind the show is the writers and Steve Blackman and Netflix. You know, they, these guys give us, I think, what, and it probably comes across, you know, but they they have this amazing writing on the page already, like from the, from the back, you were reading these scripts, you know, like, this is just gold and a joy as an actor to do. And then on top of that, like Steve says, you know, always give me like one that's on the, on the script, but then feel free to play, you know, play around, like be creative, see where the scene evolves to. Um, and that for actors, um, you know, people might not know that, you know, on other shows, you don't have that that lenience and that kind of creative uh, flow and allowance. And uh, they give us that on this show, which is, which is amazing. You know, like they, um, they don't, they don't kind of hold us back. You know, we're quite, we're quite free to, to try stuff as long as we give them stuff on the page, which is, been, you know, like I say, like so nice to do. How does it work with uh, preparing for the action on a show like this? Do you typically have a lot of time for rehearsals are you learning moves on the day like how, how does that work um it varies really most of the time we get a pretty decent amount of, of prep time uh, especially if it's a big fight you know like the last season like david who plays diego he had like a big one shot you know so they had to you have to prepare these things and i those big fights in the in the uh, the underground fighting ring and stuff so they're they're pretty well rehearsed and then sometimes you know you have moments where we're like kind of on the fly and we like there's a moment that needs to be added in you kind of like just jump in and do it and sometimes they're the best because it, it is not rehearsed or over rehearsed you know you can just uh kind of have these like little action moments or like a fall or a stunt or something um and uh, i quite enjoy those kind of moments actually you never know when you sign on to a series if it's going to be popular if people are going to respond to it um what, what was your reaction with Umbrella Academy? Because right out of the gate, it was a big show and season two was even bigger. So what, what's been your reaction to the reception to the series? I think um, gratitude, number one, that people actually really enjoyed, you know, tuning into it. Because um, there's always like a, there's a, the pressure, especially with like uh, source material, you know, it already had an existing fan base. So there's a responsibility we had to obviously serve that audience before everything else on top of it and actually making the show something that lots of people will enjoy, not just fans of the comic. Um, but it kind of blew me away, man. It blew me away. Like I couldn't believe that. I think sometimes, you, you know, a show can feel good when you're shooting it or like some of the movie it can feel good. Everything feels like it's good. and You, you never really know. You never know how it's going to hit. And then I think why it hit so well was it kind of hits multiple demographics. You know, it's enjoyable for parents to watch with their kids and I think a lot of families watched it together and like couples watch it together so it seemed to it seemed to hit a lot of notes um, and different demographics so more than anything just surprised how well it did you know I, th I think I expected it to do okay I think I always expected people to watch it but it, I was uh, like blown away about how well it did yeah actually this is my last thing for fans of the series uh, what can you tease about season three or what do you want them to know, if anything? I just want them to know that if they've loved the first two seasons, um, we've upped the ante, like, big time. And if um, the fun factor is upped, um, I think the wow factor is upped. Um, and I think they're just going to fall in love with these characters even more. I really hope so anyway. And I think we just, we've just added so many like more little injections of, of juice into there. And uh, yeah, I hope it's, I hope it's everything they hope it is.